Hey, welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to Brick Mania TV. That. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> You're still on camera. Uh, hey, Brick Maniacs, welcome back. Today, I am joined by John Canapa. John Canapa and he and his. Uh, we'll his try not to offend every, anyone. Well, that's too late. I'm already no. Um, <laughs> today on Brick Mania TV, you're going to talk about your newest. Attempt. Hey, Arietta. Hey, Oops. I'm offended. Keep going. What's what? So well, the Arietta this MBT. Is... Look at that. Wow, you got that rolling nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. It's it rolls nicely. Uh, of course, the turret uh, swivels. The main gun goes up and Woo. and down. It can shoot yes. shoot the dirt. So we're jumping right. the gun. We're jumping. Talk a little bit more about this tank, just a little bit. You know, well, the what tank. Are we, what are we looking at this here? This tank is awesome. This is. Uh, it has pretty much incorporated the, what n most of these new battle tanks have is the, you know, the. Um, Let's just look to see what Let's it go has. Through the list, man. The uh, latest optical and weapon systems. Okay, Ooh. so you know, the kind of systems that keep you from getting blown up by a RPG and things like that. Very so, cool. very important. The smoke grenade dischargers. Yep. Mount on either side of the turret. You can see them here, and here. And what's really cool about this is you did an excellent job with the Italian tanker. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, we can. So we can. he's got the cool leather jacket on. That's that's custom printed uh, pants. Um, thank God he has has pants. Thank goodness. Uh, <laughs> he's got his headset. You never know when they're just sticking their heads out of the tank. <laughs> printed he printed helmet too. So he's got his goggles Some on his helmet. Some goggles there. So he's he's out. In this case, he's directing traffic. You know, like okay, you go, and the other rest of you people stop because my tank is coming through. Here we go. <laughs> Um, now we got some really cool features on the side here. We've got all kinds of tools and things on the yeah, side. Yeah, it's, it's a nice little buzz saw you got going there. Is that so? It's like if they get too close to like other tanks, they can like some do some like too close for guns, <laughs> switching to chainsaws. It's kind of like James Bond, where he can go by and like like cut the tires da, from the da, tank da, next to him. Yeah. Even though tanks don't have tires usually, they have treads. But let's just pretend like the tired vehicle. Swing out and chop them in half. I don't okay. think that's actually what it does. No, no. I'll but put this back. It had like a. The actual tank has like, a, it looks like a saw that you'd use to cut a, cut a piece it's of wood. Like a toolkit, yeah. But um, this is the saw that we wanted to put on there. It's nice. very cool looking. Um, you got your side armor, skirts. Um, Dog hair. Some really cool stickers oh, on right. here. Stickers in the back, stickers on the side here. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stickers, man. You, why you, you got some, some custom. I've got the sticker sheet here, so we can, we can look what, see what that looks like. Here he's holding it up. Is he going to hold it up? Oh, Probably yeah. not. No. Nope. Oh, whatever. You get the idea. And um, this one also has these two uh, printed pieces oh, in the back. Yeah. So, Italian flag, of course, on this one to denote its country of origin. And then this is an armored symbol, I believe, nice. on the back there. That's cool. Um, and then, of course, you have more stickers in the front here. You can see those there, but that's uh, same stickers on this sheet that you apply to the tank itself. Uh -huh. Gives it some cool markings. Um, it's a it's a neat tank. Um, so I love are, the sleek design of the uh, of the of the turret. Yeah. Um, yeah. A, it seems to be like a, a common sort of theme amongst the main battle tanks. Kind of this very low turret, profile yeah. tank. You know, at some point they may decide to just go ahead and automate the whole thing, take the guys out, and then. Somebody will be driving it from a bunker somewhere, something like that. That's possible. It's in the future. It's in the future. Oh, here's a, here's a cool thing about this tank. Um, we didn't put an engine in, but, but you can actually take the back piece off here. Nice. Right? That Aha. whole thing comes off. This actually... Let me see um, that. Oh, you see that? Yeah, very cool. It's a, it's a face. And this piece comes out. Is that a face, John? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, can I come out of the pouch? Oh no! It's a big kangaroo. Okay. Anyways, um, keep going. Yeah. So anyway, so you can take it off. You can. There's room in here if you want to add some other features to it. Look how cool the tank looks when it's on its side. I think this is the the coolest uh, shot because here it is rolling down the road, 
right? And all of a sudden, it, it, it picks up an enemy um, 90 degrees, and it just, this, this view of the tank, this angle of the tank, is just awesome. Like that? Yeah. Pretty awesome, just rolling down the road. Yeah, know. because most of, these, most of these tanks have where you can shoot with precision while it's moving. That's most of these tanks' systems these days. But anyway, so we have this high quality sticker sheet. We'll just, now we can prop it up like that. And two of the things, so we have a gentleman that works for us called Slam. So I said... We've got to have him on an episode one of these days. Yeah, because he, he's, on the, he's famous, he famously on this bottle now. He's Slam Marino Sparkling Water. Oh. So you get you two stickers. You can make Slam Marino Sparkling Water, or you can put the sticker on there for the, the bottle that you get. It's uh, Muratore, which from our research in Italian means bricklayer. Mason bricklayer, <laughs> right? So we thought that was very, you know, like... Since we're brick mania, we work with bricks. Made sense. And then we have a little jar of canopy olives. What's your last name? That's my last name. So. So you get to be an olive, immortalized as an olive jar. So so yes, probably. Tankers don't drive around with bottles of sparkling water, and olives. Although we really don't know because we haven't talked to any. If you were a tanker, would you? I think you. I, I probably would have salami and cheese and, and so. bread as well. Um, but so that's, that's fair. we want to make add just a few fun features yeah. to, the, to the vehicle. So we have a as close as we can get a version of the tank in 135th scale um, Lego minifig scale for your enjoyment, but also a couple of other features mm. in there just to make it fun. So, the, the, so. This, this jar of olives is this the, is this uh, the first time you have been immortalized as a minifigure? Um, as a bottle, you mean? You, you are. It's Canapa. <laughs> it's, this is. Is this your? Signature, your sig fig. You know what's funny? I don't really like olives all that much. What? But, but I do love olives. Okay, I love olives in food, but not by themselves. Okay, it's important to do. Maybe that. maybe since my nephews just always stick them on their fingers, and they look like some kind of alien with little little <laughs> olive fingers on their end. So, anyways, so let's. Okay, so this is the art to take. We talked about it's got all the latest weapon systems, optical systems, the round laser warning receiver. One of the guys, I think it was Slam, that said, this is this tank I really like. He seen all of our main metal tanks that we've made. He hates them all. No, he likes no, them. No, he likes them, but he, he really, really likes he's this. He's like, I really like this. He really likes like, the shape of this one. I, I think, think he likes his Slam Marino sparkling water. That was before Slam Marino oh. when he said that. So No, he really likes so it. So Slam Marino is just a bonus. It's just a bonus. So. so, John, let's say hypothetically I'm really interested in picking up this kit. What, uh, what should I do? You should, first of all, one. go on to Brickmania's website www.brickmania.com and get on the mailing list, right? Ooh, a mailing list. If you list. get on the mailing list, then you'll be getting a mail mailer when cool stuff like this comes out. Yes. And remind you that there is stuff waiting for you that you want. You just don't know it yet. So that's the first thing you should do. And then, of course, go to the website when it comes out yeah, and don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Is that a step? And then um, don't forget to... Um, Sign up, uh, follow us yes. on Instagram, yes. Facebook, yeah, uh, Twitter, yeah. Um, boy, uh, and let me give you uh, Lando's home address. So you can come by and visit him. For more information, please check out <laughs> brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching. That's the episode. Thank you.